Welcome to another edition of the uh, Roundtable. My name is Paul Dingaman. We've got uh, some very interesting guests lined up for you today. There's some great opportunities coming along for young people in the Blue Water area. We wanted to get together with uh, Renee Steffen from Techport, a couple of representatives from Risa and Marysville High School, and find out what's all about. Renee Steffen, welcome back to the CTV Hi. set. Nice to see you. Nice to see it's you. Been again. It's been a while. It has been. a while. You've got a couple hats you're wearing. You're you're volunteering at uh, Techport. Yes, I, understand. I am. I am a board member at Techport as well as the acting facilitator. But you also had to, I understand, have a new business of your own. I do. I What's do that? consulting. Renee Stephan Consulting, named after yours Wonderful. truly. So. And what does Ray, Renee Stephan Consulting do? I am doing um, consulting work with a lot of startups. Uh, oh, okay. You know, second stage growth businesses. Um, pretty much a lot of different things. Business writing, grant writing. You've been in that field for a couple of years, number of years. Uh, over 10. And, and uh, you've got a wealth of information to share, so yes. that's great. Yes. Congratulations on Thank your new... you. Thank you. Uh, you brought along um, uh, uh, Nick Boudreau and uh, uh, Rachel uh, Vershave, and talk to me about what you guys are doing. We have put together a program called Junior Tech Port Soup, and Junior Tech Port Soup is a business model competition for high school students. We want to empower them with more than just an education. We want them to be able to prepare to, for their future. Um, and if they have a business idea, get that started because everybody needs to make money while they're going to college and after mm -hmm. college. And so many times I think the kids, they have no understanding of business, zero. Well, I mean, they work at a McDonald's or they work here or they work there. But to understand how to run a business is a whole different psyche. Yes, it definitely is. And, and that's been something that I've specialized in for so long. And this is what we want to do. We want to introduce entrepreneurship to okay. high school students and give them an opportunity to see what it's like to take a business idea or take an idea that they're excited about and turn it into a business. And, and we, we hear about it all the time, uh, young people like uh, Facebook and, yes, we do. and Mr. Zuckerberg and, yes. and other success stories. So why can't it happen here? Right? It can happen here. We have a lot of talented students in the area. Um, a couple of the things that I did uh, uh, maybe two years ago that really inspired me to work on this program and to develop it was um, participating in a entrepreneur camp at SC4 at the okay. St. Clair County Community College. They asked me to be a panel and listen to students pitch a business idea. They took high school students and they gave them four hours to determine or to take a lemonade stand and turn it into a business. <laughs> and they pitched it to us and I was amazed at the talent that they have. So, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, but I needed the educators on board to get this done. So we collaborated and we built Junior Tech Port Soup. All right, coming up uh, on May the 21st at the aforementioned SC4 Community College in the MTEC building, yes. there's going to be an event. And Rachel, what, what is the event? What's, what's going on? Well, that will be the culmination of a, um, an, this whole activity, this whole project in which students can put together their own executive summary of a business plan that they would like to pitch and they'll be submitting that along with a little uh, worksheet of the financial details and That's a, a, a 30 part of it second too. <laughs> uh, video pitch. Um, they'll be submitting those to us and we're going to have a panel of local experts who are going to um, screen those and the top 10 students will be notified that they are invited to May 21st first event and oh, to pitch okay. their, their business ideas so, in front of another panel of judges who will be awarding uh, financial awards. So this is really a two-step process and I was already into the second step. Yeah. So the first step is to contact you guys and come before you. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Um, Nick, what's your, you're involved? You're at Marysville and also involved in RISA too? Yeah, absolutely. Um, a, a portion of my um, job is a career pathway advisor, which is a new position that's new to St. Clair County. I'm one of four that um, represent the county, mm -hmm. but I'm also at, my majority of my time is at Marysville High School as academic advisor. Uh, when Renee brought this um, project to us, it was a very exciting time because I actually sat in on Christine Shigley's Shark Tank mm -hmm. economics project 
um, as a shark. Mm -hmm. And she has a project where ninth grade students um, come up with entrepreneurial ideas, come up with a business, and then there's an event where um, they bring in business leaders and uh, leaders within the school and they pitch it. Well, it's, when, it was perfect timing because when Renee brought the, the idea to us, um, it was happening already. Mm -hmm. And so then uh, my involvement, as Renee mentioned, was, okay, how do we look at this from the education side? Right. Um, because, you need that partnership. Yeah, Absolutely. you do need that partnership because a lot of students don't have businesses going right now. Right. Few and far in between, um, if they any. Have, maybe have an idea. An idea, yes. And they really don't know what to do with it yet, especially ninth, 10th, 11th graders. Seniors may be starting to look at the future now with college and, mm -hmm. and jobs in the, in the future, but um, younger students really don't know what to do with it yet. And so the three of us collaborated, as Renee said, and brought each, each of our expertise to the table and said, how can we provide not only this event an opportunity for them to apply, but show them how to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, give them the materials and the confidence to take that idea and actually put it on paper and then get the confidence to come up and pitch it in front of a panel of business owners and, and try to win some scholarship money or some startup cash for your business. So, How are the students finding out about it? We have a website that we built. Um, it is juniortechporthuron.weebly.com. Juniortechportsoup.weebly.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah, so we created the website so they can go to the website and they can look at all the information. It tells you how to, how to submit your business plan as well as your um, startup cost worksheet and uh, a 30-second video. And then we have the preliminary, um, uh, a group of preliminary reviewers that will review all of the submissions and score them. And students will also be able to see online how they're going to be scored. So they can prepare their executive summary or their business model submission according to how it's going to be scored. And then once the top 10 are chosen, they will be the 10 that will pitch the evening on the 21st. And they're going to be pitching to a panel of local business leaders that have backgrounds in finance, entrepreneurship, startups, education. Yes, it's very exciting. Do you have some examples now of some of the projects, or are we letting the cat out of the bag if we do that? Well, we would be letting the cat out of the bag <laughs> okay. right now. Yeah. Well, let but... me phrase it another way. What about, <laughs> uh, have you seen this, this kind of thing done somewhere else in the United States that we can give some examples to kids? Well, as you know, we've done a lot of business model competitions in the past year through TechPort. Um, one being the tech port soup, and some of those ideas ranged from a retail startup to a hops grower here in St. Clair County, okay. our first hops grower in St. Clair right. County, as well as um, in the service industry. Okay. Um, just from the experience here at <clears throat> CTV, I, I had the young people, they, they love to get into skateboards and they love to you know, uh, multiply, make, make that into a, a job or a career. Uh, one of the fellows that was here years ago, uh, Jordan Huffman, is now working for a company out in Pennsylvania called Woodward, okay. which is a skateboard camp, and they charge a $1,500 a week to go to the camp right. in the summer. So, And he produces videos for them, and he's working for them, but it was, you know, they took an, a hobby or a, something they love to do, skateboarding, and he's making a living doing it. So I think that's great. That's really what you're trying to accomplish. Exactly. A year, about a year and a half ago, I um, was invited down to the economics class at Riverview East and talked about entrepreneurship and opportunities um, that students could have um, that may not be with a four-year college degree, right. but maybe they just need a technical degree. And it's funny that you said that about the skateboarding and the bikes. The student which was a huge inspiration for me, was making $1,000 a week in his garage <laughs> in Marine City, piecing out bike parts and skateboard parts and fixing them. And his goal and dream was to have a storefront in Marine City to fix bikes, skateboards, marvelous. and also sell them. Yeah, and, I, you know, he is, has already graduated, mm -hmm. so he wouldn't be qualified for this. But he, ins he was one of the ones that inspired this idea. Mm -hmm. and, but we have talent in our community. Oh, yes, absolutely. And in trying to develop innovation and entrepreneurialism, we have to look at an earlier age. Mm -hmm. It's not the 20 to 30-year-olds anymore. It's 
the younger students that we start we need to look at them we need to nurture them so this is the beginning uh, we, one of my uh, Evan who's directing this program and I went over to Pine River Elementary a month or so ago and interviewed the contestants for the uh, countywide uh, science fair. Yes. And the winner of the science fair at Pine River and a major winner up at the SC4 was a third grader, a little wow. girl. I mean, she was about this big and she just had <laughs> tremendous ideas and, yeah. and it was wonderful. It was wonderful to see yeah. and, to, and to be able to capture the story, you know, it was great. Yeah. Uh, what, and what's your role at, at RISA? Oh, um, my role, um, I'm by title an educational technology consultant, but I work in the career and college readiness um, initiatives that we have going on, and that's where I see a lot of value in this and in, in, um, in those experiences talking with Christine Shigley's students at Marysville High School. We really get to um, give students the opportunity to explore way before they actually graduate high school to really start to look at and provide options for what might be a future career mm -hmm. for me. And so one of the really nice things about, about interacting with some of these students who have done something similar is that they're talking about how they know, yes, I would like to be an entrepreneur, or no, that's not for me. And very- And there's not that, we're nothing wrong with that. No, not, not, not at, at all. all. That's a wonderful thing to right. hear. And so just the fact that they're given this opportunity to find out. And like what you were saying earlier about you know finding that thing that they really like and, and going with it, we, we keep talking about this is really about passion and mm -hmm. the finding the student's passion. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times that comes out in, in these types of, of activities and projects. So it's really nice to get to hear them speak about their passions as well and, sh and share it. With all the, uh, the beating up of teachers in the last five or ten years, it's, so, it's got to be so rewarding when that light turns on and the passion comes out. And that's what you know. You guys are in it for, is to see that light. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the Shark Tank project that um, of Christine's, and the first round was when this contest was coming about. But they actually just had the second round um, last week, and Rachel and I were there for it. And it is. It's a very enlightful moment watching kids that are lights, their face light up and just the energy and, and to be able to go into a panel of adults they don't know right. and, and pitch their ideas with passion and then answer questions um, on spot when it comes to marketing or financing or you know any other business um, question as a ninth grader really speaks volumes. Um, and this project is great because it's it's not in the unit. It's kind of the, the cherry on the top. Mm -hmm. You know, the lesson mm -hmm. plans happen, the tests happen. But this is something that teachers can use now, and I know Christine's using it now, and hopefully it goes countywide, that we can spruce it up and get kids excited about it where they'll blindly go through the lessons and really get their full educational experience. Great, you were going to say something. Well, and now let's take it above, uh, beyond that. So they're learning, and mm -hmm. this is about education, mm -hmm. but it's also about an opportunity. The winner of this competition will take home $1,500 to, wow. to apply towards their business startup. I think the light just went on brighter. Exactly. <laughs> so we're, we're paying out $1,500 for the first place, $750 for second place, $500 for third place, and we have an, a crowd favorite of $250. And this money is, has been um, given to us as, pr as the prize from the Youth Advisory Council oh, through right. the Community Foundation. The community so those students are supporting this. So think about how exciting this is going to be to take it one step further from education, but a real opportunity to start Cash. a business. When they, when they um, submit that startup um, cost worksheet, if they need $1,000 to start their business, the other 500 will go towards the scholarship if they are the winner. If they need 2,000, then they have the whole 1,500 to help them apply and get their business started. Wonderful. And then we will we'll provide mentoring for them as well, you know, to help them. It's exciting oh. and, 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 it, and it's a doable kind of thing and, and there's really no dumb ideas for no. starting a business. It's, so it's very doable. Don't feel bad, uh, Grandma and Grandpa, if you're watching, and just talk to your <laughs> your kid and say, or your grandson or <clears throat> daughter, say, here's an opportunity for you to take that crazy idea. Absolutely. And even if that money can't be spent immediately on a business, if that's a little more of a long-range plan, um, this money will be going toward post-secondary scholarships. Oh, good. So yeah. um, good. there are, are a couple of choices as far as how this is used. It'll be okay. put to good use. Good. All right, let's go through that uh, that email address again, or, or website again. It's... J-R okay. uh, Tech 
Techport, T E C H P O R T. So oh, yeah, for sure. Techport. Okay. Go ahead. Soup. Soup. Dot Weebly dot com. Dot Weebly dot com. Okay. That's a long one, but. Uh, it is. <laughs> and, and no spaces in between right. all of those. So, so. JR Techport <clears throat> Soup, all one word, dot Weebly mm -hmm. dot com. Yes. Okay. So, do I have to. Uh, and, and, and once I get to the website, the, the instructions are there. Yes. Can I get a bounce off of the TechPort website? Does it? Is there? Um, you know what? I don't think we have that set, set in up. there. But we, we that is something that we will be okay. doing is adding the URL to certain. I'm sure that Risa will put that on their website as okay, well yeah, as Risa's website too. as well as probably the EDA will. And put if it that on all their fails, is there someplace else I can go? You can either call myself at eight one zero. 689-4530 or you can call Rachel at 810-455-4004. I like her number. That's a simple one. That's four an easy five one. 4 five <laughs> zero zero 4 that's, that's a great, you got a great number. There. Good. She can, she can field all the questions. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. That's great. So I, I'd also, missed, go ahead. I, I would just also like to, um, to put out a little thank you um, to the Youth Advisory Council mm -hmm. through the Community Foundation as well as the Community Foundation for the support that they give us in our entrepreneurial activities and also Eastern Michigan Bank. Um, they immediately said we will do this. They, wow. are, they are sponsoring the event as far as for the cost of putting it together and the food. So, Wonderful. You know, my hats go off to our community um, foundation and to the Eastern Michigan Bank for their big support. On May 21st uh, at uh, the MTech building, is the public invited or is this a closed session? We encourage everybody. everybody. Okay. Yes, What's we want the time? them to see. What time? The On pitches May. begin at 6.30. Oh, there they are. Okay, 6.30. Um, so on the 21st, yep. if you want to come and just watch and see what's happening in the community, room 150 of the MTech building, and uh, there's no charge, obviously no, no cost charge. for that. So yeah. uh, the 32nd video pitch, is it like a, uh, a YouTube video? They just stand in front of it or like doing a selfie and say, this is what I want? Yeah, absolutely. And I actually um, spoke to some of the um, students that are interested at Marysville of entering today. And, and I said, the best thing is, is it's kind of like an elevator speech. Good. If somebody walked up to you and said, what, what's your product or your company? 30 seconds, we, can you explain it with somebody holding the old iPhone in front of you? Mm -hmm. And that's really all we need. We like to just see the passion. We like to see that they're gonna feel comfortable right. stepping in front of um, a panel of people being able to, to, right. to pitch their idea. Okay, well, I think it's great. Now, I I thank you for spending some time with us to talk to him about it. Well, we thank oh, you yeah, for thank having you. us. There, uh, anything else? Have we missed anything? I think kids, we got it. Your your project with uh, getting kids to go to college is great, and uh, this is another part of it. Yes, it is. It's a great, great, uh, great things we got going on here. Renee, good luck on your new business. Thank What's the you. name of that again? Renee Stephan Consulting. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. We'll see you again. Nice to thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. much. That's about it for this edition of the uh, Roundtable. Till next time, I'm Paul Dingman. See you soon. See you soon.